Hey, Chris here. I hope you're all doing well. With the holiday season right around the corner, plus Black Friday just a few weeks away, started thinking about some gift ideas. Also, thought about what I pack when I travel, especially my personal item, because I'm trying to condense as much as possible and go back to what I've talked about a lot in the past of just traveling as light as possible. So one area that I kept coming back to and I got really excited and interested in is headphones and earbuds. So over the past few years, what I've been traveling with are the Bose QC35s. Absolutely love these. They have incredible active noise cancellation and it just amazes me every time I use these. So basically when I get on the plane, the roar of the engine comes on, put these babies on, turn on that noise cancellation, and it's almost like I'm in a whole different world. So I love these. But again, very, very bulky. So what I've started to do again over the past few weeks is, is start to look at a, a few pair of earbuds that I was really interested in taking a closer look at. And one pair in particular I wanna talk about today, so I'm not gonna talk about all these um, today, but one pair in particular I wanna talk about and that's the AirPods from Apple. And a couple of reasons I wanna talk about this. First is I was really reluctant to look at these. I had no desire. But the other thing is they're at an all-time low in price. So are they worth it? So let's go ahead and jump right into this. To start with, I will say I'm a huge Apple fan. I've owned iPhones, MacBook Pro, iPads, Apple Watch, Apple TV. So I'm well vested in the Apple ecosystem. But I've always thought the AirPods have been overpriced and really had no desire to take a closer look at these. But just taking a quick look, and this is one of the main reasons, this right off the bat is a bulky case. So if we compare this directly to the AirPods, I mean, you can just tell it is a huge drastic change as far as size goes. So if I'm packing this in a bag or even in my pocket compared to putting this in my bag, I'm automatically gonna save space and weight right off the bat. And again, these are totally two different pair of headphones and earbuds and I don't want to directly compare them at this point but just as far as size goes you can see that these are so much smaller and I had no idea until I actually bought these how small they are so if you want to compare this to this is the iPhone um, SE the second generation so it's a it's a small iPhone and you can just see even with a small phone the size difference here so just a, a really nice small case and, and is going to ha uh, house your, your earbuds here. So some of the concerns I had before I bought these, again, is it going to be worth it? But how are they going to fit in my ear? Because I haven't had good success with the earbuds that come with the previous iPhones. So I usually take this, these when I travel just to have an extra pair. But it's almost like in case of an emergency, I have these, but typically I'm not going to use them. So again, they've never fit me, fit me well, and I always felt like they're gonna come out of my ear. So with a similar makeup, again, that was my biggest concern. Am I gonna sp spend 100 plus dollars on something that's not gonna work well for me? So I just wanna show you real quick here. And again, these are really small. And one thing I've actually been pleasantly surprised in is the fit and feel of these. They're, in my opinion, extremely lightweight. And I've had no problem keeping these in my ear the past few days that I've had these. So again, they kind of sit more in your ear opposed to a lot of earbuds that go inside your, your ear. So it does, I guess, still have that feeling of uh, maybe it's going to come out. But nowhere near, at least for me, the feeling of these that are wired. So again, you can see here. And I've always felt, felt I've had weird ears and I have a weird large head. It's always hard for me to find sunglasses, that's another thing. But earbuds have always been kind of the same thing, just the fit and feel of a lot of them just are not comfortable. But again, these are actually really comfortable. So that was, I guess, the first place I was pleasantly surprised. So I guess next is how do these sound? And to me, you can watch all the headphone and earbud reviews that you want to and it's so subjective i mean i might like the sound you might not like the sound but my thing is if you like the sound of the wired earbuds which i do like the sound on these to me the wireless are going to be even better again not a ton of bass not a ton of this and that and whatever but just a nice clear sound so again really overall happy with the way way these sound 
So one reason I wanted to show these as well, like I mentioned before, is that these are currently at a low, an all-time low of approximately $99. And yes, that is expensive when there's other earbuds on the market that are at least half that price, and some are even less than that. But again, this is an Apple product. This is a premium product, and a lot of times you're going to get what you pay for. And I feel like that is the case with the AirPods. And this is the wired case, so you know you're going to have your lightning cable that comes with these. And to me, that's fine. I don't need wireless charging for these because I would rarely do that. I think I have one wireless charger that I occasionally use. And again, I don't use that on a regular basis. So I'm fine with having a, a case that does not charge wirelessly. So Again, I'm extremely glad that I, I took a chance and um, picked these up. And I actually bought these for my wife. And I think she's going to be extremely happy. But I've been trying these out to, to kind of get a feel. And to be honest, I would have been 100% happy if these were mine. And I would keep these and use these things forever. So overall, extremely happy with this. So like I said, I want to, in the coming weeks, take a closer look at some other earbuds that you might be interested in. So I have some lower priced ones. I have a pair from Anchor. Anchor. I think these are called the Life P2s. These are my daughters. And these usually run around 40 ish dollars, sometimes a little less, sometimes a little bit more. And I wanted to check out the Impal, the X3s, because these had gotten very, very good reviews. Retail for around 60, but I think I picked them up right around $50. And then the Apple AirPods Pro. And this is more of the premium and one that would probably more directly compare to your. Bose QC35s, even though again these are earbuds and these are on ear headphones. So, one other thing before I finish, and I just want to, uh, I guess, talk one more thing about reducing your cost. Again, I know $99 is a lot of money, and I hate spending that on almost anything. I'm more budget conscious, I think, in when I shop for whether it's a bag or whatever travel accessory. But think about some ways you can potentially save, and a couple ways come to mind very quickly. I know a lot of times if you're finding these, these at Best Buy or Walmart, probably Target is going to be another place that are going to either match that price or be offering those for the same exact price. So if you have the Target red card, whether the credit or debit card, you're going to get 5% off of this. If you have the Walmart credit card, they're doing 5% back, I believe. And then if you use some of those sites, like I mentioned in the past, like a Rakuten, um, I picked mine up at Best Buy and I did get 1% back. And I know that's not a ton of money, a dollar, but it is something you're getting back. So think about those other ways that you can potentially save, whether you're matching a price at a company, using their card, credit card, or even a, um, a site that's gonna give you cash back, or if you wanna get um, a return as far as a website that's gonna give you travel miles or hotel miles or something to that effect. So uh, again, don't forget about those, especially around the holiday season where some of these sites are gonna kinda up their cash back or points or whatever the case might be. So for $99, the all-time low, I do recommend the AirPods. So if you're on the fence on these, um, pick them up, take a closer look. And I guess the only concern that, um, again, even though they fit me well, these are not one size fit everyone. It's one size probably fits most, but still there are gonna be some of you who, no matter what you do, these are not gonna fit you well and they're gonna fall out. There are some aftermarket accessories. I've really not looked closely at those, but in case you needed that, check Amazon and um, you might find something that would interest you there. So again, AirPods from Apple, I do recommend these earbuds. As always, thank you so much for taking time to watch. Please like, subscribe, and leave those comments. Again, thank you so much.